Yeah man, police big price draw. Gun season in a gated community in Trelawney. And one woman arrested for lottery scam. Boy, the police then now joke them a go off of the people them know where cause problem in our country, you know. And one youth allegedly killing parents. A wagwan. Anyway, let's jet into these stories. And welcome to Jet and you know how we do it on this platform first thing first we must give thanks and praise to father Yahweh or Yahweh and then through his son father Yahushua Hamashia which modern day say Jesus Christ yeah man we have to give thanks and praise to the father who give life because without the father we wouldn't exist simple as that so give thanks man so the first story on the agenda you know is the big gun fine based upon police operation we have in Trilani yeah man so the official report say big gun catch and then it go on to say police are describing the men at the center of Thursday's big gun fine in Trilani as a known violent producer who has strong links with criminal gangs in western Jamaica. Yeah man the police them I said boy this man have big links and things so I one of them big fish with them catching at the pan. The, the report goes on to say the man 36 year old Kevin Carpenter was shot fatally after allegedly pointing a firearm at lawmen during an operation by members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force Area 2 fugitive apprehension team in a gated community in Florence Al Trilani Thursday morning. Just what the air this drop and me I tell us right in a some big gated community the man gonna live. We don't know who we have among us that live because we don't we don't see people and we just don't know and some people just mind their own business. This is what the police commissioner had to say about the matter. They have acquired wealth and are living in gated communities. This is why it is important for persons, even in upscale communities, who see strange activities or persons to provide information to the police. So the story continues, a search of the house resulted in a seizure of 13 illegal weapons inclusive of 10 high powered rifles, 2 submachine guns and 1 pistol. A woman said to be Carpenter's common law wife and 3 children were also at the premises where the raid took place. One senior investigator from the Trelawney who is not authorized to make public statement informed the Gleaner that the deceased was on the police radar for some time. Senior cop also stated that Carpenter was the brother of a reputed gang leader who operated out of western Jamaica. It is theorized that the guns were to be distributed to those gang members. So, what you realize is that your fine say this fine, Kevin Carpenter, otherwise known as Pepsi, this fine is big and it seems like him are the dealer and it seems like, as where people are saying, him a control the stash and then him just distribute it to him and distribute it. But him bringing a affluent community, a gated community. And words on the street are say this man here have links to many different fractions and gangs and not only that words I say he was part of the killing we're going in a arm and a hall there yeah man me do one video panda you remember the six people them will get shot and three people lose them three pints yeah man that big thing the mayor say he was part of it but you know that's just speculation still we don't know but boy me I tell you but this man have woman and pitney so me don't really understand then you how can you live with yourself you know so boy you come to your woman and say baby put on the pot there say some money I buy some food and feed the pity them when you know say the money I come from blood money you know people life you take somebody life and this money I come from taking somebody life are aid in taking other people's lives and this is all you say well you know you have feed your pity them so it likes them out charge you woman yeah but some people are say why the police them are make these big catch these time you know why them are catch all of them people I know is this that the police them are get efficient and you know then good at the job or is it because election are come why the police them never that catch them people there before and the police then know the, the, where them people whereabouts there so drop your comments I'm going to have a debate about this you know because we don't like to know if what people are saying is because the election are the police and just get efficient. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has announced a new Get the Guns campaign that will see people getting from $250,000 to $500,000 for illegal guns. Who said the government now work? You know, you the initiative where government come with from $250,000 to $550,000 to get guns off of the street. Why? And anyway, we'll be careful, you know, because my man killing us on our farm, you know. But me don't know if our election make him work so hard. More work the police them are putting again. One woman arrested for alleged lottery scamming. Yeah, man. I tell you, a wag one. Things are turned around in Jamaica. Pack your bag far in and go home. You see what I say? So hear the story, I know. While one woman was arrested in a five-hour anti-lottery scamming operation in Cambridge St. James on Thursday, the police say several lead sheets, a cellular phone, and sheets containing information for banking cards were also seized during a search of the premises. Last year, the task force carried out 166 operations and raids and arrested 54 persons. 
48 of them were charged and 14 have been convicted. Jamaican lottery scammers have been tricking foreigners into sending money here to collect winnings in sweepstakes they never entered. So, you know, it has been said, you know, that um, the reason why Jamaica crime rates are going up so high and why so much killing and contract killing and all of these things is fueled by lottery scamming. So, if this is the root of the problem, then arrest them and charge them and bring them before the courts. Because if you chop the line and it costs so much people for lose them three pints and a match up the country, then it have to stop. Simple. People need to go out there and work, be creative, create their own jobs, um, do farming, all kind of things people can do in order to be successful. You just need to be creative and put your mind to it. So this is definitely a good progress if this is what match up the country. Last story I've ever featured on this video, I know, is a breaking news. You know. This just happened recently, you know. Yesterday to be exact, the 4th of February, the headline said butchered community in shock as 24 year old suspected of slaying parents in grisly attack yeah man why well, I may I tell you not only things are going and, and you know the violence and the crime and murder hike in Jamaica people are get mad and people are do things and pitney are kill father and father are kill pitney and thing but I think the good book talk about these things are happening at certain days you know 24 year old son of a Portmore couple is now in jail for the murder of his mother and father 69-year-old Cecil Ramsey, a minister of religion and a painting contractor, and 55-year-old Phyllis Ramsey, the acting vice principal of the St. Andrew Preparatory School, were killed sometime after 4 o'clock on Friday morning. Their throats were slashed. Well, the residents say they are shocked, extremely shocked is the word um, they used. Um, they said they didn't see it coming, even though the young man would have exhibited some strange behaviors weeks leading to this morning's attack. He swapped his smartphone for a banger um, so that he could only communicate with family and take himself away from social media, as I said earlier. They said that he was speaking strangely. One comment I, I, I made note of was that a neighbor said that he, he said, mega stop study because God is going to make all the information just come to me. Mental health problems sometimes cannot be easily spotted, you know. And sometimes some people might look normal, but they're not actually normal. So I wonder if there was any signs for the parents and for pick up say son are going a little bit weird and whether them see any any sign of any danger coming towards them. But sometimes you just don't know. But well, you see, sometimes we have we pick them in and sometimes demon just hang time at them and then just start thinking some weird way. And you have to be careful because them see a man we attack we. But May I tell you, say it's sad. It's a sad story, though. If you know, say, you look at you killing parents, them. You know, it, it, it's just a heart wrenching story. And sometimes you see some people are walk on the road and they look normal, you know, but they're not normal. You know, sometimes they even dress up in a nice, decent clothes. They call them clean clothes, madman. But these things need to flag up and the authority need to step in and look after them and care for them, you see me? But yeah, if he summarize now, is to say, well, good fine for police because them strapped there with the police, then take off high street, trust me. Probably save 5, 10, 20, 30 lives. You just never know you know and it's all good man because we want a beautiful country man look, look there look how we country beautiful and nice man all alligator or crocodile are enjoy the country you know people just want to enjoy the beauty of them country rather than fear go a different people country and all of that you know paradise we have in this you know and therefore people are mash it up and the next thing again is the scamming that and the crime thing we are going to Jamaica wrap up in a bed mirror and if I saw you go trust me people have to pay for them crime man and, and pay the penalty because because we can't afford for a few local people to mash up the country, you see me? And there's plenty of things people can do. Work, study, do all kind of things to uplift themselves. People have to be creative. So it's a shame that the two old people then lose them three pints because of their son. Good fine for the police them and lottery scamming a mash up the country. We need to make Jamaica safe again and bring it back to where it was so all of us and visitors can come and enjoy it. Yeah man, so just write your comments below and we have a debate pan me assessment. So don't forget to hit the like button, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell and also touch the share button so a lot of people can get access uh, to this information, you know. God bless you all man. See you all now. We're going to jet off, you know.